Hey, how's it going? Z-Man the Tech here. Thanks for clicking on the video and tuning into Snowly Games. Today, we're covering my top 20 shoot 'em ups on Nintendo Switch. Without much further ado, let's get into it. Number 20 on my list is a unique arcade shoot 'em up called Horizon Shift 81, and it's a wave based single screen shooter where the player controls the ship in the center of the screen while enemies approach from the top and the bottom, and the player is able to change their direction to the north and south on the fly. If the enemies reach the horizon where the player is fixed, some will react differently. Say, for instance, by posting up on it and becoming an obstacle, or by damaging and removing parts of the horizon altogether, which limits the mobility of the player. Thankfully, they can be dispatched easily by using a dash mechanic that knocks them off of it, and you can chain those attacks that are governed by a meter to let you know if you're still within the threshold of the chain countdown. You also have the ability to jump on either side of the horizon, so make sure to use that to your advantage when you're evading the enemies that have reached you. This game retails for $9.99 and goes on sale from time to time, so be on the lookout. You'll need about 179 megabytes for the install. Number 19 on my list is a horizontal, fast-paced 2.5D arcade shooter called Grood. In this title, you'll be facing off against an army of robotic invaders that have come to seize the world. They're aggressive and will take not only skill, but also tactical thinking to ultimately best them and thwart their attack. You'll be traveling through woods, swamps, cities, frozen lands, deserts, and more, all the while dealing with multiple weather conditions like rain, snow, and high winds. There is also a day and night cycle along with this. The game blends classic shoot 'em up arcade gameplay with stylish modern visuals and vibrant effects. There's also a pixelated graphics option called 90s Love that you can toggle on or off as well should you want to scratch that nostalgic retro itch. It has a hardcore metal soundtrack that'll have your heart pumping while you deal with its punishing difficulty. No lie, the difficulty is no joke in this one, so keep that in mind. Fight for the top spot and global leaderboards and see if you have what it takes to be the best there is in the world. If you're interested, the game retails for $4.99 normally. However, at the time of writing this review, it's literally on sale for $0.09. Cents. That's 98% off, which is a no-brainer. Go ahead and pick it up if you haven't already. You'll need about 447 megabytes for the install. Number 18 on my list is a vertical arcade shooter that aims to reimagine the genre called Task Force Campus. It draws inspiration from the golden age of Japanese shoot 'em ups and brings you that classic retro action with a modern touch. However, it mixes things up with randomly generated stages and handcrafted bosses waiting for you at the end of them. It also has an addictive feature where you can boost your power by shooting down enemies, whereas if you stop shooting, it repairs your ship. It also has a pulsing techno synthwave soundtrack and a very challenging, albeit addictive gameplay loop. If you're a sucker for high quality score chasers, look no further. You're in the right place with this one. If you're interested, it will only set you back about $5.99 and you'll need about 205 megabytes for the install. Number 17 on my list is a horizontal arcade shooter called Qyo Blaster with zany characters, odd enemies, dope weapon power-ups, and plenty of explosions. The love of detail in the sprite work and animations are very noteworthy and quite impressive. The pixel art is vibrant and full of life, and I really appreciate the level of creativity and the character and enemy designs. This one also has a little bit of story too for those that enjoy those aspects of the game. You'll be braving 10 stages with a variety of enemies, an assortment of weapons, perks and power-ups, a CRT mode, and multiple difficulty levels. This game retails for $9.99, and at the time of this review, it's currently on sale for $4.99 via a publisher sale if you own any of their other titles. Number 16 on my list is an intense vertical shoot 'em up called Crisis Wing. This game was lovingly crafted to recall the same blistering arcade action that we experienced back in the day with the classics that we grew up with, and I can honestly say that this is a true love letter and lives up to all the hype. It features seven challenging vertically scrolling stages, upgradable weapons, and cooperative multiplayer. Although this game is challenging, it's also newcomer friendly and offers a practice mode that lets you replay stages with infinite lives. There's also a score attack mode, along with a boss rush mode that you can get into as well, and they offer unique levels and bosses too, so it's definitely worth giving them a try. Number 15 on my list is an absolute classic called Sega Ages Thunder Force AC. This one is a legendary arcade retro horizontal shooter that made a name for itself back in 1990. 
In this title, you'll be blasting your way through the armada of the evil Orn Empire and five diverse alien planets while ultimately heading for the treacherous Orn base. This Sega Ages version adds some nice bonuses like an arcade cabinet display with ambient sounds and aesthetics, and there are even unlocks for more ships from the other games in the Thunder Force series. It also features save states and a kids mode to help make things more approachable for those that aren't as inclined to these kind of games or just first timers in general. It also has a pretty decent chiptune soundtrack to vibe out to as well. This game retails for $7.99 and you'll only need about 75 megabytes for the install. Number 14 on my list is another legendary classic, also from the developers Technosoft, called Sega Ages Lightning Force Quest for the Dark Star, aka Thunder Force 4. And in this title, we battle against the Vios and fly as Rhinex in this horizontal shoot 'em up that made a name for itself back in 1992 on the Sega Genesis. It boasted innovative ideas, beautiful pixel graphics, and an amazing soundtrack. Once you beat the game, you'll unlock Fire Leo 3 Sticks from Thunder Force 3. This game also retails for $7.99. Considering a loose copy on the Genesis will run you about $48 right now, I feel like this is a really good deal, and you'll only need about 71 megabytes for the install. Number 13 on my list is a beautiful 2.5D horizontal shoot 'em up called Rigid Force Redux. It boasts lovingly handcrafted 3D models with stunning environments, highly detailed particle effects, and a killer synthwave soundtrack. You'll have upgradable weapon systems along with something called Force Shards. You'll also have the ability to collect energy orbs that you can store and unleash devastating attacks on your foes. The enemy variety is vast and the boss fights are intuitive and pose a decent challenge. On top of that, there's also an arcade mode as well as a boss rush mode, global leaderboards, and 40 built-in achievements for you to tackle as well. This game retails for $19.99, however, it is on sale for $3.99 until November 7th, and at that price, I highly recommend it. You'll need about 1.6 gigabytes for the install. Number 12 on my list is an awesome vertical shooter bundle called Vasara Collection, which features the highly acclaimed Vasara and Vasara 2 with some brand new game modes included. These two Japanese arcade shoot 'em ups originally released back in the year 2000 and 2001 respectively and were made available to the whole world via this collection, and we love to see it. The setting is in an alternate timeline of feudal Japan where technologically advanced weaponry is a thing and you portray heroes that ride flying motorcycles with fantastical firepower and aggressive melee weapons to dispatch their foes. You'll be fighting against warships, battle tanks, giant robots, and even rogue samurai to prevent 1600s Japan from being overthrown by opposing forces. And I'm gonna be honest, the skill ceiling for these games is pretty high. However, thankfully there is an easy mode for beginners and I recommend that you start there to get a feel for things. Trust me on this. I tried jumping in head first and got my cheeks clapped. It's rough, man. I don't wanna relive it. Anywho, the brand new game mode that I mentioned prior offers widescreen four player co-op support, which is pretty awesome. This game also supports Tate or Vertical Mode, nine playable characters inspired by real Japanese historical figures, and branching paths and multiple endings according to your characters and in-game actions. This game retails for $9.99 and I highly recommend it. You'll need about 1.4 gigabytes for the install. Number 11 on my list is a hectically intense vertical bullet hell called Ghost Blade HD. Its highly addictive score chasing gameplay loop will have you curled in a fetal position in the corner of the room after your play sessions, urging you to try just one more time until you master the game to completion. It's a problem, but in a good way of course. <laughs> Hell, I'm just being facetious. But truly, the gameplay loop in this one goes pretty hard and I love that about it. It's got a decent two player cooperative mode and it's very much an easy to learn, hard to master shoot 'em up. It has five stages all with huge boss encounters, three playable ships to choose from, and an in-game achievement system. The HD visuals and art style are really clean and highly detailed as well. This game retails for $14.99 and does see some sales here and there, so be sure to keep an eye out. You'll need about 970 megabytes for the install. Number 10 on my list is another classic compilation of games called Arcade Classics Anniversary Collection by Konami. This collection marks the 50th anniversary for Konami and is very much a celebration commemorating some of the all-time classics that they released over the years. This collection includes 8 games ranging from Nemesis aka Gradius, Thundercross, and even Haunted Castle which was the original arcade version of Castlevania. Of course, Haunted Castle isn't a shoot 'em up but I figured it was worth mentioning. Plus, that's an awesome bonus game to have in that lineup. 
Some of the other cool features is that you can switch between the Western and Eastern versions of the games in this list. So technically you're getting 16 games in this collection. You also have access to an ebook that contains new information about these titles, including interviews with the development staff, behind the scenes insights, and sketches and design documents that were never released to the public prior to this collection. Some more major highlights are that you can use save states, have access to multiple display options, and the difficulty is flexible. This game retails for $19.99, which is already fairly generous, and I've also seen this collection go as low as $3.99, which is wild to think about. Keep an eye out for this one. You'll need about 294 megabytes for the install. Number 9 on my list is yet again another compilation of classic arcade shoot-em-ups called Shmup Collection, featuring three games from Astroport Studio. These three titles are Armed 7DX, Cetazius Next, and Wolf Flame. Arm 7 DX is an aggressive mech shooter with customizable weapons like laser beams, rockets, and missiles at your disposal, and it features seven dynamic stages to traverse. Cetazius Next is a classic shoot 'em up completely redesigned and animated in this iteration. In a faraway galaxy, you'll be navigating through the lost planet of Vagano, trying to resist the attacks of space pirates to save the universe from destruction. In Wolf Flame, you'll need to defend the humanity of the planet Sigfildonia by destroying the invader's military base to help turn Operation Wolf Flame into a successful resistance mission. Ultimately, you'll need to stop the alien forces from eradicating all life forms. This game retails for $14.99, and you can definitely catch it on a sale from time to time. You'll need about 1.5 gigabytes for the install. Number 8 on my list is a frenetic arcade space shooter called Vortex Attack EX. It supports all skill levels from novice to expert, and it also supports up to three simultaneous local players. It has an interesting gameplay loop where you start the levels with a barrage of enemies, and it encourages aggressive usage of its combo system, which is very addictive by the way. The higher the combo, the higher the score. You can also collect drops from the enemies as you dispatch them that convert into homing missiles that attack remaining foes. You can unlock up to 11 ships in total, and they can all be upgraded to a four level max. The game has two different modes to choose from, one of them being more intense than the other when it comes to the difficulty and how many levels and enemies there will be. It has 16 game filters, online leaderboards, and over 150 levels with plenty of bosses in the mix. It also has some really great Neo Retro effects and music. The game retails for $9.99 and I definitely recommend this one, especially if you've got two other people to play alongside you. You'll need about 199 megabytes for the install. Number 7 on my list is Robotech The Macross Saga HD Edition, which is an HD port of the GBA Classic from 2002. In this side-scrolling mech shooter, it takes you through the entire 1980s anime series. You'll follow the story of the war against the Zentradi, alongside some of the more familiar faces in the series like Rick Hunter, who was the hero of the first Robotech War, and later commander of the Robotech Expeditionary, and Roy Falker, who was also a celebrated human fighter pilot for the Global War and First Robotech War. As you progress, you'll be unlocking special characters along the way. This HD iteration of the title boasts new visuals and high-resolution backgrounds, and features all new 3D models, dynamic lighting, and enhanced effects. The mech that you pilot is called a Veritech, and it can switch between three forms on the fly, which is integral to your battle strategy while navigating these levels. Those dynamic fighting forms are Fighter, Guardian, and Battleoid. There are five playable characters and five unlockable characters to choose from. The sound design has been remastered as well, and it features music from the original series. This game retails for $9.99, and if you're a fan of Robotech and the Macross Saga specifically, I highly recommend it. This one is a treat. You'll need about one gigabyte for the install. Number six on my list is R-Type Dimensions. This is an HD remaster of the two legendary coin-op shooters, R-Type and R-Type 2. It features both games in their entirety, and it's a legit one-to-one -one remake with high-res 3D graphics and revamped music. You have the option to swap between the HD visuals with the remastered soundtrack and the classic 2D pixel style with the retro soundtrack on the fly seamlessly. It includes infinite mode, classic mode, and co-op mode as well. Some of the other new features that this game brings to the table are a slow motion button, which lets you weave through oncoming bullets, a fast forward button, which lets you increase your speed, and an infinite mode where you can power up your ship to the max with just the press of a button as well. This game retails for $14.99, and there is a downloadable demo if you'd like to try it before you buy. You'll need about 206 megabytes for the install. 
Number five on my list is a beautiful vertical shooter called Skyforce Reloaded. This one quite literally is the best looking game on my list hands down. Put it this way, if my list was for the best looking shmup, this one would be number one. However, looks aren't everything. So let's talk about the other strengths of this title. It possesses excellent gameplay mechanics, an intuitive progression system, and tons of in-game collectibles. The weapon power-ups are vast and plentiful, and it also rewards you for the combos that you achieve from blasting through groups of enemies. As you dispatch enemies, they drop gold medals that you can collect and stack up to pay for your ship upgrades and level progression. As you fly through the stage, keep an eye out for POWs too, as you'll need to hover over them to pick them up and bring them to safety. The gameplay loop will hook you in, no doubt. In comparison to the earlier iteration of the game, Skyforce Anniversary, this one improves upon the number of levels, available ships, temporary boosts, and upgrades in the game. Plus, there seems to be some updates to the visuals as well. This game retails for $9.99, and you'll need about 1.3 gigabytes for the install. Number four on my list is an incredible bullet hell shoot 'em up called Danmaku Unlimited 3. This is another visually stunning shoot 'em up that's easy to learn and tough to master. This one is a lovingly and authentically crafted Japanese style bullet hell, and it feels very good to play. For those that are familiar with the bullet hell genre of shoot 'em ups, you already know it's all about learning those bullet patterns on the fly. Those boss fights are truly a marvel to behold and quite epic. This game literally set the standard for capturing classic arcade bullet hell gameplay with a modern twist, and the flexibility of the difficulty makes it accessible to everyone. It has an innovative risk and reward system called Spirit Grays that can be quite addictive. It has an ultra wide mode and 60 FPS HD, and it supports Tate mode too. You'll have 25 unique weapon combinations to experiment with, and it also features some epic tunes from the Japanese group Blankfield. This game retails for $9.99 and really is a must have if you're into bullet hell shooters. You'll need about 152 megabytes for the install. Number three on my list is a dark and twisted side-scrolling shooter called Blackbird. I mean, when I say dark, I mean you portray a little girl that's walking down the street corner and suddenly she just dies like literally drops dead. And people just continue walking over her and around her. One guy even stops to poke her with his walking cane and just leaves her there. Anyway, she ends up being reborn as the Black Bird, which is one of the calamities that was said to befall the kingdom. As you progress through the game, more and more mysteries unfold. And the Black Bird was said to destroy the kingdom upon its arrival, and that's exactly what you do in this game. It has a very detailed 2D pixel art that matches the setting and the tone of the world presented to you. And the soundtrack is sung in an eerie operatic style with spooky organs and such. It's quite peculiar and said to be a fictional language. All of that aside, the game has an intricate combo system and gameplay loop that sort of reminds me of Defender, seeing as how you have to progress by either moving left or right on the screen because it loops until you destroy all the command towers that spawn the enemies. The boss fights are pretty interesting too. Nothing too crazy, but it gets the job done. It's such a bizarre experience, but I keep finding myself going back to play more. After my gaming sessions with it, I couldn't stop thinking about it. This game retails for $18.99, and it's a wild ride for sure. You'll need a little over one gigabyte for the install. Number two on my list is a nightmarish twin stick bullet hell shooter called Never Awake. The setting of the game is in the nightmares of a little girl's mind where she's fighting against vegetables, dogs, school friends, the dentist, and a slew of other things that she hates. Things and creatures that everyone has had a bad experience with at one time or another become monsters and attack the protagonist, Rim. Which I presume is a play on the acronym REM, which stands for Random Eye Movement Sleep, which is the stage of sleep where most dreams happen. And I like that. It's a nice touch and right on par with the subject matter. The visual style is of high quality with beautiful hand-drawn graphics and animations. There are over 80 levels to explore with a dozen bosses or so that stand in your way, all with a unique strategy to figure out. You'll have numerous weapons and accessories at your disposal that you will eventually be able to combine and use in new ways, and the game has rich storytelling with multiple endings that you can earn. This game is one of the more premium priced games on this list that retails for $24.99, however it's totally worth it and I highly recommend it. You'll need about 1.3 gigabytes for the install. And now, for my number one game on this list, we have Devil Engine. And this is a high octane classic style side scrolling shoot 'em up that is heavily influenced by the best in the genre. It boasts incredible locales with beautiful hand drawn pixel art and a state of the art soundtrack by legendary composer Hyakutaro Sukumo, who is most widely known for his work with Thunder Force 5. 
In this game, you have three shot types with unique bombs to use how you see fit, and there is most definitely some levels of strategy involved if you want to have a fighting chance against the enemies you'll be encountering. You can manage combo multipliers that will earn you a bullet absorbing burst. You can choose from eight game modes to leave your mark on and solidify your place on the leaderboards, and you'll be making your way through six incredibly detailed stages. Also, the points that you collect can be used for unlocks like additional music, stages, playable ships, and much more. I call that score chasing with an added purpose, and we love to see it. Since I'm an audio engineer, I'm a bit in favor of this game most because I fell in love with the soundtrack so much, and the gameplay being on point through and through helps solidify this choice for sure. Devil Engine is the embodiment of everything that I look for in an arcade side-scrolling shoot-em-up, and I 100% recommend that you pick this one up. This game retails for $19.99 and it's worth every penny. There is also a complete edition of the game that includes the Ignition DLC, which expands on this experience with even more awesome content, and it's considered the more definitive way to play. That version retails for $25 if you're interested. You'll need about 1.6 gigabytes for the install. And that's gonna do it for this video, everyone. I know this was a long one and I appreciate you spending your time with me and for allowing me to share my thoughts with you about why these games are my top 20 shoot 'em ups on Nintendo Switch. To tell you the truth, there are actually a staggering amount of shmups on the Switch if you weren't aware, and that made this list the most challenging that I've put together on this channel. And for the record, I would have most definitely added Ikaruga to this list if I owned it on the platform. However, I actually own the 360 version on my Series S. So that's the only reason I didn't add it. Hopefully I was able to help shed some light on a few titles that you didn't know about because hey, they can use some love too, right? Did any of your games make my list? Did I miss any that you feel should have made it? Drop it down in the comments and let me know. Also, let me know if you pick up any of these after watching this video. And with that being said, if you like what you've seen, be sure to hit that like button as it helps out a ton with the algorithm to help push my content to others like yourself. And if you're new here, consider subscribing for more content like this. Have a great one. Take care, and I'll see you on the next one. Futuristic classic. The futuristic classic. Time is of the essence. I feel like I have mastered. Futuristic classic. The futuristic classic. It's always moving forward, so I'm never moving backwards.